And welcome back to Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. I believe where last we left off, we were inside the tree. It's been a couple of days since I last recorded, full disclosure. But I seem to recall when we last left off, ah yes, the punies. And we've got like the big puny who's like a bully jerk. Whoa, that was immediate. Um, let me just take a quick look at everything here. We have Madame Flurry. That's right. Yeah, I think I'll get back into the swing of things. Oh, we had leveled up. That's important. So now we can equip FP plus. The quick change badge. Mm, power bounce. I think maybe FP plus would be best, so that we have more FP available to us during fights. And then I was gonna go into this room. We had fought a brigade of baddies, as I recall, and we had just enough punies to take on that force, but if we go the other way, there are a hundred bad not have the necessary punies. So I think we have to solve this puzzle. Puny, star, moon, sun. Now what's down here? Treasure chest containing a blue key. Now was the blue key for the cell upstairs where the elder was being held as well as a whole bunch of punies? Oh. Yes, with this key we should be able to open the cell. My people are locked in. Hurry, we have to free my sister and the others. Okay. So doing that will give us access to a much larger puny supply. Good, good, good. I thought that there would be like a difficult puzzle there, but maybe it's just something to remember for later. Because that pipe in the back is too high to jump into. <gasps> Cutscene. And they'll never come back, and that's what's going to happen to us. And hey, by the way... What's that thing you've been holding on to so tightly? It's a mushroom. Oh, not to be, you know, rude, but it looks all dry and wrinkly and gross. Yeah, yeah, I know. I picked it so I could give it to my brother to eat. But then I got captured and stuck in here, and after a few days it dried out. Oh, really? Great story. Anyway, don't worry so much. All my complaining aside, I'm sure Punia will return. I feel like I should have read that guy more sarcastic, but... <laughs> All right, let's get our buns up to Capture Central, if I can remember the way. This place seemed pretty straightforward, all things considered. I feel like in a previous episode I shook all of these, so I'm just going to very quickly go through all of this. Sometimes I wish I had a sprint key, but... I was gonna say that'd be weird for Mario, but no, it wouldn't. <laughs> it'd be totally normal. Okay, puny orb. Actually, I don't think I need all of them to come with me. Or it, actually, if I leave the room... I feel like if I leave the room, then... They might get captured again or something. Because I remember the Elder said at some point... Oh, look at that. Okay. I remember the Elder said at some point, like, if you lose them... Hey, what? I guess we're about to find out. If you lose them, they then to go see the Elder. Nope, they're all here. What if I put the... Oh, they're all obsessed with the orb. That's right. So I have to take the orb out. And then they fall. Okay, so in here we've got the elder. Okay, so we're back at the beginning. Wait, did I just go in like a big circle? No, this is right. We go up. All the rooms do kind of look the same, which 
makes things a little tricky. Because this feels very similar to that other room, but that one had a flight pad and this one doesn't. There we go. Okay. Petunie, I'm back! We brought the key! We're opening the cell right now! Oh, there he goes. So cute. Okay. Blue key. And a lot of punies. Big brother! Aw, oh, touching reunion. Little Petunie. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Nope, I'm fine. Thank heavens. Hey, big brother, I have something for you. I meant to give this to you sooner, but... Mushrooms are your favorite, aren't they, big brother? But, well, this one kind of got dried out. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, nasty. Big brother, it was icky, wasn't it? I'm sorry. No, not... Not at all. Mmm, delicious. Very, uh... Very... Yummy. Big brother, you okay? Give me a hug, Batuni. Hey, quit it, Punio. Come on. Don't get all mushy. Everyone's staring. Well, it was just a really sweet gesture, that's all. Oh, it was nothing. Cute. Alright, 90 punies have joined, and now we have 101, which is enough to make the charge on all of those bad guys downstairs. So let's see if we can't find our way back there. Now I know if we fall off the cliff to try to get down faster, they will not follow. You have to go through the pipes. Which makes things slightly more tedious, but not too bad. Man, there's so many of them. Okay. Go down here. here. Now, this should be the same basic principle. It'll just take a little bit longer to get all of them across. There we go. Is that you, Petuni? Still have one that's being stubborn. Ugh, nuts. The timing's kind of rough on those. Okay. Now that we've got that done, remove the puny orb. Get them all gathered up. Now come with me. Okay, so we do have 101 marked. They gave Punio and Petuni different colored head things. And I think the big bully one too. Yeah, he has an orange one. Uh, so you can differentiate the named characters from all the other punies. Almost there, you guys. Alright, so now we go across here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh, do they get scared by- oh, they get scared by him. Well, that's no good. Okay, let's see if I can't deal with this. What if I switch my party member to Coops and then try shooting the Spider? Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, big shout out to the comments section. You guys provided me with some really helpful tips for this game. Uh, one of the tips was sometimes people in the audience have helpful items for you. So when you get the little warning symbol underneath Mario that says, you know, go deal with this audience member, 
it's not always a bad thing. So look out in the audience and see if they're holding up like a mushroom or like a flower or something instead of just like a can or a tomato. Um, the other thing was somebody mentioned uh, blocking with the B button and that having like a counter attack effect. I'm gonna test and see if that works. I have no idea. So I'm gonna give it a go. I've already forgotten about stylish attacks. I still have no idea if my partners can do stylish attacks. Oof. Hmm. Didn't seem to work. But maybe it only works on certain attacks. I'm not sure. I did manage to get that stylish though. And look at all those stars. I'm glad that some of these spiders are sticking close to the ground. Like the normal dodging with A seems to work just fine. But the B button one, not so much. I'll work on it though. As I found out with stylish moves, like the timing can be really difficult. I should try to take advantage of some more uh, special attacks. Um, just because... There we go. Just because I have so much extra FP thanks to that badge that I equipped. Nice. What... what are you gonna give me? The effect of the curse increased your star points. <gasps> wow! Huge bonus to EXP. I'm just gonna jump down here and collect that, cause... I don't know. It's nice to get an extra health bonus. Okay, I've only got 76. I need to keep track of my punies. As long as I hold the star orb, they should be chill. Or like, follow me. But see, they get really scared whenever a spider, so I'm gonna have to go through, clear out all the spiders, and then collect my punies. Whew, that is a lot of foes. Hey look, Luigi's in the audience. Um, I can't use Tremor yet, which is what I really want to do here. So I'm just gonna do some stylish jumps and try to increase my star count. Luigi's loving it. Uh, I'll use Power Shell. It's the good stuff. Now we have to dodge a lot of attacks. I feel like that B thing might be for melee attacks. I'm not sure. Oh sweet, we're already in, uh, we already got one star bead. I never know what to call those. Star bead. Star power meter thingy. Okay, normal jump, stylish styles. If there is some way to get, like, a stylish on partner attacks, I really want to find out what it is. I don't want to look it up, though. I want to stumble on it by accident, maybe. Or, like, I'm allowing myself to do stuff that the audience points out to me, so if you guys know any tips or tricks, <laughs> feel free to, like, say so in the comments. I can't use any Coop smooths. Because they're too high up. But yeah, obviously, like, no, no, like, plot stuff. I don't want to know any of that. Um, but if you guys have, like, you know, press this button in battle and it does this cool thing, then I am all for that. Because I would love to be able to play better. Because I just know it's going to get really hard for me later on in the game. Because I have a history of not being the best at this one. Like, I absolutely love that stylish jump thing. That was such a cool thing. And just knowing that some enemies, or some people in the audience will throw you cool stuff. I never knew that, and that is so cool. Get 
getting some great experience points here for star points. All right, now I have full star power, so if I do have to fight another one of these... Oh, I don't. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here and try to collect that life energy. And I've got all my punies, so I'll collect the rest as I go along this path. But now we can take down that huge horde, and that should solve that problem. The puny AI is, like, pretty great. Um, how do you get that? Yeah, I'll try to solve that in a little bit. Okay, here we go. So now it's going to send out a hundred bad guys, and we have a hundred and one good guys. I'm saying bad guys because I can't remember for the life of me what these guys are called. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah, smack them. Beat them up. Beat them up. I don't know if I can actually help with any of this. Presumably, like, if... Like, if you have the numbers, then they do it automatically. Man, they're taking their time getting in there. There we go. Well, we beat them. We KO'd every last jabby here. Now let's destroy the jabby hive fortress. And then I can go behind. Rumble time. I held up my controller so you could hear the rumble, and weirdly enough, there was no rumble when the actual base exploded, just the... the earthquakes leading up to it. Oh, you can't catch me off guard, fool. Which is a lie, because if you watch this series, you know that they've caught me off guard so many times. But, take your victories where you can get them. I really want there to be a stylish for hammer moves. But it doesn't feel like there is. Ooh, that's a toughie. I also need to remember to try using the, uh, the B button. Halfway, more than halfway to a level. Hmm. Do I do that just to hold them there? Seems odd. There's some kind of trapdoor here. Hmm. I'm gonna take them with me for now. Uh oh. Ooh. It was really hard to see with all the punies in the way. Alright, let's take down these fools. Earth Tremor styles. Oop. I like how you just actually get up on top of the crystal star. We're really trying to use this thing to our advantage. So close! Oh uh, well. I got some pretty good hits on them. I think that's. Yeah, that's enough. Huge chunk of EXP. Three quarters of the way to a level up. I really just want to fight whatever else is down here so that I can get myself a level up. Oh. Really hard to get a lot of coins in this game, it seems like. Like, I've never had too many. Huh. Another place for the puny arm. Oh! <gasps> oh. They trapped me. Uh huh. What happened? What just happened? Buh -huh, buh -buh -buh -huh. Oh no. What was my voice for this guy? Man, you guys are dense. Brilliant little trap, huh? And boy, did you bite on it. I saw you sticking that silly stone on the pedestal, so I made a fake one. Awesome. I mean, I knew it was. I mean, I knew it was great, but seeing you fall for it really gives me a warm fuzzy. Buh <laughs> buh. Talk about complete idiots. You guys are so dumb. It hurts. 
Anyway, with you fools out of the picture, I can take my time hunting the star crystal. Buh, 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 ha. It's got a very strange laugh. And I'm 100% sure that's not how I did his voice before, but... You know what? This show's not about consistency. Mario, what do we do? Uh, we have to find a way out of here. But what can we do? Okay. Good question. Oh wait, I can escape. Boy, this just isn't right. Let's do something before my claustrophobia sets in. Mario, think of something. I'm counting on you. Okay. So if I go down here and solve this puzzle... Wait, you see those? I'm pretty sure I've seen columns like those before. Oh, do you guys happen to remember? I think it was Puny Star Moon Sun. Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The, the tree just shook. What was it? An earthquake? Um. Weird. So I can't interact with these. So maybe I set the puzzle later on to these. So that's sun, moon, puny star. Maybe? Hmm. The tree shook. Hmm. Huh. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. So maybe I just have to go all the way back to that other place and then do something there. Sun, moon, puny star is what it was. Still don't know how to get that. Can I use flurry there to do it? I don't know how. But maybe there's something hidden? No? Sometimes she reveals secret... things. It's worth a shot. Okay, so let's see what we can see. And we have... Haha! -ha. Sun. Oh wait, okay, star. This is supposed to be a puny. This is supposed to be a moon. This is supposed to be a sun. There you go. <laughs> what a cool effect. Get out of here, paper. Okay, so now we have access to a secret part of the tree. Which is... Giant treasure chest. <gasps> so I got a super boots. Will this allow me to break something? Hi there, I'm Toadette. Congratulations on getting the super boots. These cool kicks power up jump attacks. <gasps> cool. And you'll be able to use a new technique. So let's practice it, okay? If you press A at the right moment when jumping, you'll do a spin jump. Timing is everything. Press A in mid-jump. <gasps> so we get a butt-stomp. Wow, that was perfect. You're a natural. Wanna try again? Nope, I got it. Okay, that's just super. It looks like you've mastered the spin-jump. You can smash through spots like this with your spin-jump. Okay, so I can smash through, like, trapdoors and stuff. That's it, you got it? You can use the spin-jump in battle, too. Give it a try. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Good luck on your adventure. Thanks, Toadette. I'll see you in Treasure Tracker Land. Okay. So now I have a new move. So I can smash trap doors and things on the ground. Let's try it now. <gasps> cool. Now I can get over to this. Shine Sprite. Let's see if there's anything hidden in the bushes. 
Nope. Ooh, a badge. How do I get you? Oh, uh, fall down from above and use the shell? Let's try that. Oops. Oh, come on. How dare it use momentum. I guess I'll just have to jump over that square and then use the spin jump again. Yeah. And then this. Nice. I got charge. Add charge to your tactics menu. Interesting. It only takes one. Hmm. I don't really use soft stomp that much. I'm gonna switch it in for charge. This move requires one FP. Wearing two or more of these badges requires more FP, but increases the charge power. So I feel like it allows you to t maybe take a turn to charge up, and then you get extra attack power, maybe? Hmm, I wonder. Man, we're making progress. Like you read about, this is this is going really well for me. Okay, I think I'm gonna jump down here and do a quick save. And then I'm gonna free those punies on the next episode. I'll see you guys then. Bye.